Indonesia. The second semifinalist from Africa and Asia Pacific is Indonesia. How are you? I'm amazing right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's your question. You tried cryotherapy as a way to help mentally improve yourself from this universe. What does that even mean? Well, I wouldn't say mentally, but it's more for my body. So it's basically where you enter a human-sized fridge in nearly freezing temperatures, and it's just to relax your muscles because, you know, us Miss Universe girls have to work out really hard. <laughs> you should try it. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, no reason to be freezing. Black people don't like cold weather, so. Thank you, Indonesia. Everybody show some love for our first five semifinalists tonight. Coming up next, we introduce the contestants from the Europe region, and then five of them one step closer to the title. And we'll do the same for the Americas right here. This and I'm ready to give them some company. There are so many people in this world who are left voiceless to the fact that they don't have a birth certificate. A basic human right. My charity, Voice for the Voiceless, is working hard to ensure all Indonesians have that right. I inspire to be a woman who not only stands for herself, but stands for those who cannot stand on their own. Thank you. Welcome back to Miss Universe live from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Right now, there are 20 amazing contestants with me on this stage. They're here from all around the world, and they share the same dream of becoming Miss Universe 2019. Ten of them are about to move one step closer to achieving that dream right before your very eyes. This is the moment. Let's meet our top ten. The eighth contestant entering the next round, Indonesia. I am one of the youngest contestants here. I'm only 20. I was actually one of the youngest Miss Universe Indonesias that has been ever crowned. That's something that probably sets me apart. I started my own foundation called Voice for the Voiceless. We raise awareness of the issue that 75 million Indonesian kids don't have birth certificate. A birth certificate can actually really help a child's life to get health care, education, protection, and future employment. It's an issue that doesn't just affect my country, but the whole world. Indonesia. Let's hear it for our top 10 finalists. These women are quite literally the best of the best, and they are ready to compete as hard as they can to win the title of Miss Universe 2019. Welcome back to the 2019 Miss Universe competition. Our top 10 is ready. All of their hard work has led them to this moment. So I'm going to hand the stage over to them. The swimsuit competition begins right now. Indonesia. That feeling when the adrenaline kicks in and the endorphin kicks in when I'm on the rugby field. That is when I feel the most powerful, when I'm in my element. Indonesia. I chose the color gold because I think that gold is a very bold color and I'm showing the world, this is me, this is Miss Indonesia, this is Frederica. 